Look, if you're going to be a thief in Elder Scrolls Skyrim, okay, I get that bowls, candlesticks and goblets are traditional thiefy things to steal, but you really could do better. 25 value? That ain't it fam. You ain't getting by with that kind of shit. By the way, I like how I can then steal the stuff he stole and it's perfectly fine. Now listen, this Dragonborn's all about business for sure, but he is taking a brief detour to get a sword from a dwarven ruin for a pretty lady he likes. A pretty lady who could quite easily chop him in half, which is kind of his, uh, kind of his type. Hello, hello, bandits, where are you? Oh, hi. He fired. <laughs> wow, I didn't realise how effective that would be. Stop it. Stop it. Wait. Okay, well that's just a loud cart. Oh boy. See, the problem is I want to get these to melt them down for my blacksmithing, but they weigh so much. <laughs> I'll just try and take as much as I can. I used to hate Dwemer runes because I didn't like the look of them, but now I love them because they're full of soul gems and dwarven ingots huh? in the making. Oh fuck, there's no doors! <laughs> Well, I've run out of healing potions in case you couldn't tell. I was about to use a scroll. I'm not a magic user, but scrolls are different. Um, but I'm having kind of a tough time with this. Okay, that's one down. I separated him from a pack and shot him with a bunch of arrows, even though I have really shit bow skill. Eat it, you metal fuck. Yeah. I sure showed him. I wonder if Wufrad is particularly effective against the Falmer, because the Falmer are the Fallen Snow Elves, right? That's what we learn in this game. So does the damage bonus apply to the Falmer? That would be interesting to know. Why does the Falmer bow weigh 15 when the normal bow weighs like 4 or whatever? Normal bow weighs 5, why does the Falmer bow weigh 10 more? Don't do this to me. Oh fuck, I accidentally looted the entire inventory, no. I don't want your ear. Take your ear back. How did these farmer get orcish arrows? Were orcs even a thing when snow elves were a thing? Had Malakath pooped them out yet or whatever their weird lore is? Oh my god, how heavy was that fucking Karunda Mingut? Well, that didn't work out. Oh, he was so fucking close! There we go. Problem solved. I didn't even take a hit that time. <laughs> now to wait off this werewolf form. <laughs> there should be a way of deactivating it, really. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Got some fucking dwarven bars. I've never really bothered doing that shit before. Fine armor. Good old fashioned steel. I'm about to upgrade it, mate. How can I help you? I've located Grimsever. Some say Astonishing. To think you actually were able to reach it and yet return to tell the tale? Yeah. If you'd permit me, I'd be honored to accompany you in your travels for a time. You could do more than that. You can fucking marry me in a minute when I've learned about marriages. Oh, I, I forgot. I could just take the stuff she has in her inventory. Uh. Well, I hope you're not going to hate me for this. I mean, I'm pretty sure... Oh, I can actually just take Grimsever back. <laughs> Don't see why I'd want to. It's not actually a very good sword. You said you felt naked without Grimsever. Your iron battle axe does 20 more damage than it. You'll find more people interested in your love if you help them. Like bringing back their sword? Huh? Something like that might go a long way. Hi. I'm itching for a fight. Interested in me, are you? I am. I'd be glad to stand by your side until the divines take us, if you'll have me. Damn right. Together. I've never married me all before. Let's go. I was gonna put on some uh some wedding attire, but I get the feeling that Meol is not going to be wearing wedding attire, so let's just do this in our battle armor. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? I do. Now and forever. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever? 
under the authority of Mara, the divine of love. I declare this couple to be wed. I present the two of you. Yay! Y'all, I swear I didn't marry you for an achievement. I guess we have our entire lives together now. Where should we live? You could stay with me. Congratulations oh. on your wedding. I'm so happy for both of you. Oh, sorry, Aaron. I forgot you guys were kind of the. Congratulations on your wedding. Yeah. I'm so happy for both of you. You sound so thrilled. Uh, wait. Where did, where did Aaron go? Lydia, why are you here? Honor to you, my Fane. What are you doing here? Honored to see you again, my Fane. Did you come to my wedding, Lydia? That's kind of weird. We barely know each other. First you squat in my house, and now you attend my wedding without permission. Stay away from me. I, I'm not even allowed in Aaron's house. Oh, did she go to fucking White Run? Ugh, Mjol. I kind of wanted to see what your place was like. Let me go get you. Mjol, look, don't judge me. I know this place is a tip. Lydia, not you. Where's Mjol? Long life to you. Mjol's not here? Where the fuck did my wife go? Huh. Let's just say I advise the Damn. Advisor. That's quite a big upgrade. Okay, there we go. And then that'll be my new set of armor. Yep. Upgrade, 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 upgrade. I'm a dwarven centurion ass looking boy now. <laughs> now I could sell this steel armor, but I'm going to give it to Mjol instead. Whenever I fucking find her, I'm going to go check Riften again. Let me quick save and see if she's in Aaron's house. Am I trespassing right now? Oh, I'm not trespassing. Delightful. Where... Where is Mjol? Mjol, where are you? I will not be happy if you are in bed. Baron. Wow, literally nobody is here. She's not in a fucking church. How may I help you, my son? Help me find my damn wife. Oh, Mjol. She's still not here. Literally, where is she? What was that? Wait, Mjol? <gasps> Mjol! There you are. You dirty thief. Uh, okay, she wants to kill a thief. We'll kill a thief. Okay, the thief has been killed. Well, we'll thief the thief. No, where have you gone? Where have you been? My house in White Run is kind of awful, so living with you would be perfect. Then I'll see you at home. I've just made your life living hell, haven't I? I need to trade some things with you. No problem. I can carry a good bit of gear. I don't want you to carry this. I want you to use this. I've got a gift for you, Mule. Get out of that banded iron armor. Why don't you wear something a bit better? Hell yeah. Look at you. Set. Let's go. All set indeed. You should have seen me at the height of my adventuring career. I was fearless and took too many risks. But that's what it was all about. Well, I'm a dragonborn. Yeah, there's probably a few things I should tell you. Uh, I'm a dragonborn. I'm also a werewolf. Uh, you're now unkillable as my wife, so you're probably going to see me shift into werewolf form a few times. Unless it makes you hate me, and then I'll stop. Hey, what? What, the? what do you think about that? I'm itching for a fight. You are heartless, lady. I think we're good if I turn into a wolf. And also, apparently, if I murder half of Riften. I'll show you a real... No! Will you now? You know what? Mjol could use that. Hey, Mjol, I've got a present for you. Here's a new bit of gear for you to carry. Boop! There we go! I immediately have an upgrade for you. There you go. Orcish. Let's go. Even better. What the fuck? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hi, we missed one. There we go. Whoop! <laughs> missed another one. Um... Hello? What the fuck was that? Oh my god. There's no way for it to fucking land, so I can't fucking damage it. Sorry, I'm in a bad mood today. Wait, is there a second dragon? It sounded like a second dragon for a second. Wait, now who's attacking me? Oh my god, are you serious? There's so many of them, I have no healing potions. <sighs> are you fucking kidding me? Oh, is he just going to sit there and do nothing? <laughs> I'm just going to stand here and rain arrows down on him. Here we go. It's interesting that the dragons never retreat, isn't it? 
And yeah, I'm just letting the Forsworn take care of him at this point. I still have no healing potions. I need to travel to a town and buy a bunch of healing potions because it's really fucking over my enjoyment of this playthrough. Because I keep having to play super tactfully instead of just item spamming, which is kind of how you play Skyrim. Give me those, give me those, give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. And now give me your soul, please. Any day now. Come on, mate, hurry up. I'm gold day. There we go. Yeah. Chanting, please. Where's my chanting? There it is. I'm a legend. You only have four potions of healing? And they cost a hundred gold each? And four potions of minor healing. Jesus. I've never had this problem in this game before. I didn't really factor in the, the problem that if I go all the way to Whiterun to get potions, I'm going to have to do the walk all the way up to Calf Spire again. God fucking damn it. I might just be a servant among lords, but don't think for a moment I don't take my duties as seriously as the Jarl himself takes his. Wow. I didn't fucking ask. Oh, <laughs> do I want to disenchant my bond of matrimony? Uh, nobody tell me all. <laughs> it's okay, me all. I can, I can enchant a new one. It's so random what you can melt down out of a Dwemer stuff. Large decorative struts, large struts, bent scrap metal, large plate metal, small plate metal, solid Dwemer metal. But I also have. Like, you can't melt down cogs. Uh, I have Dwemer scrap metal, which you would assume you can melt down, but you can't. I, I don't get it. <laughs> it's difficult to remember which ones you can melt down. Well, Mjol, this is home. Obviously, we don't really stop by very often. I can upgrade it later if you like. Get Lydia to brush her cobwebs from the ceiling. Yeah. Nah, I agree. We should just go kill more dragon. If only I'd discovered this last time, I'd have been able to fast travel back faster. Ah. You'll be looking to rent Tiber Septim's room, I take it? Tiber Septim's room? That's right. In the Second Era, Tiber Septim himself led the army that conquered Old Heraldin from the barbarians of the Reach. Septim would later found the empire that united Tamriel, but his first known battle and victory was right here. That's interesting. And this inn has the very bed the great general slept in on his first night as old Raldin's liberator, as good as it was hundreds of years ago. That's interesting because I've played ESO and I've played the Reach DLC and all the barbarians are still there, so... As an ESO player, it's really fun to get little snippets of lore like that. Like, oh yeah, and you know, maybe like a hundred years or whatever after you, after your time has passed. Tiber Septum comes along and wipes them all out around here. It's like, oh. Oh no. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. <laughs> Did you forget where the room was? Are you okay? Let me know if there's anything else you need. A door? Maybe a door? We are married, you know. Well, sorry, Mule. Looks like we're gonna be sleeping and nothing else. Could you leave? Okay, so Talos is about. 270 years after the events of ESO? Interesting. Ooh! Ah. <laughs> I forgot I'm already married, but I'll take the Mammoth Tusk for a soldier nonetheless. What? What are you screaming about? Is everything okay? Oh! See, that's why I slept there, because I thought something like this might happen. I work for Ildis. She runs the inn. That's nice. There's a ghost in there, just so you know. What is this? Just like a standard Friday for you? It is Friday, right? Hell yeah. That's not the shout I thought I had equipped. <laughs> oh! No, it's not. Hi. Oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. You good, Delphine? Selling that game of girl bathwater? <laughs> oh no. Oh, uh, with new playthroughs come new perspectives, and that name evokes different things now. Gosh, that was fun, wasn't it, everyone? Nice bit of murder and pillage. Say 
and I'm proud to call it home. There are literally dragons burning down entire settlements. Sorry, Mjol. What? Hi. Were you looking at Delphine? I know. I confused you for her. Don't worry, though. I don't think she's attractive. Oh boy. We'll work this out later. <laughs> the fucking firebolts every time. I love this game. <laughs> <Still coming. laughs> oh, Mjol. Get out of here. Get out of here, Mjol. Um, right, how do I turn this shit off? Shit, shit, shit. Okay. That was not the best way of doing that puzzle. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not oh, like and the blades aren't a cult, huh, Delphine? Have you considered that Alduin was not meant to be defeated? Those who overthrew him in ancient times only postponed the day of reckoning. They did not stop it. If the world is meant to end, so be it. Let it end and be reborn. Damn, I forgot that Arangir was literally, like, pro Alduin. What the fuck? Oh my god, I forgot he had big dopey eyes. What the fuck? What brings you to my stream? <laughs> Look at him. My mountain. It looks like he's got googly eyes. <laughs> I can't take him seriously. You know what I've just realized? The yellowy parts on the outside of his eyes aren't like part of his eyes, they're his eyelids. That's why I thought he looked so dopey. If you imagine them as part of his eyes and then the black actual eyes are like just the pupils, that makes him look really dopey. What are you doing? Drem your look. Greetings. What? P Parfenex? What are you? P Parf... Par Parfenex? Where are you going? Wait... Um... Are you okay? Oh no... What's, what's happening? I've never seen this before... Parfenex, come back! I need you! No, don't leave! Oh no... Uh, <laughs> What, what do I do with the Elder Scroll when I find it? Oh! Hi! Uh... Okay. You're back! You okay, buddy? Speak. Okay. I will listen. That fixed him.